I found myself standing on the edge of a large field of tall, beautiful golden sunflowers, each one standing majestically tall. They were intricately different, but yet they looked the same. There was a soft, subtle breeze that made the plants effortlessly sway. As I watched their subtle movement, Jesus appeared between the many rows of green leaves. He reached for my hand and began to lead me through the maze of flowers. As we walked, I saw a small deer gazing. He stopped, he looked up at us, but then he continued to graze. It was obvious he felt quite comfortable, us being there. I then saw a small gray rabbit quickly scurry away. As Jesus continued to lead me, there were no words spoken. However, just a short distance ahead, I could see a break in the foliage. And as we stepped into this opening, I could see it was a perfect circle carved out in the middle of this field of beautiful sunflowers. We were surrounded. It seems as though they were guarding this special place. The ground was made up of soft green grass, and the middle sat a large gray boulder. Jesus let go of my hand and walked over and sat down. I stood in front of him with my hands stretched out, palms facing him, and my face towards the sky. Then suddenly I felt extremely cold. And I said, why am I so cold? And I started shivering. And Jesus walked over to me and placed his hand on the top of my head. I could feel a wave of warmth and an indescribable love that penetrated my head. I closed my eyes and this incredible warm feeling began to run down my head and into my shoulders, my arms, my hands, my fingers, and then into my chest, my legs, and finally my feet. And it was like nothing I had ever felt. He then moved his hand. I clenched his hand within my hands, palm up. I could see the scar he carried because of me. I gazed into his eyes and I softly kissed the scar. And together we walked to the rock and sat down. I wiggled and snuggled in as tight as I could to get close to him. I don't think you could even fit air between us. But then he put his arm around my shoulders and squeezed me in tighter. I was so excited to tell him about my day. I blurted out all the details as swiftly as my mouth could spit them out. And he just smiled and said, I know, I was there with you. And I began to cry. And he asked, why are you crying? And I responded, you've given me so much love and joy that it wells up inside of me and it has to come out somewhere or I'll burst. He smiled and he said, I know, sometimes it is hard to contain. He then said, this is our secret place. If you ever need me, you can always find me here. But know this, I am always with you, no matter where you go. And an indescribable peace flowed through me. And at this moment on the rock, cuddled in tight, I lingered there for a while and I could just feel his love. And the moment faded and the meditation ended. And the lesson for this meditation, follow Jesus. He will warm you with his indescribable love. And it is okay to feel that love overflow. Tears are not always from a sad place. Snuggle in as tight as you can to Jesus and he will show you that secret place. You will share in such a magical time. I hope you enjoyed a peek into my heart. I have a podcast that's going to unfold my story in its entirety. It will go live on September 3rd. You can find me at Triune Loves Me. And by the way, he loves you too. So please come. This is Lori signing off. But remember these words, be kind, be loved, and be the amazing you.